Yang Yang's Immortals Legend of Immortality has released another poster, Suheiki Oo is here, and there are a bunch of immortal supporting characters to help out. Some people say that next year is the year of the male channel, because recently many large and small production crews have launched dramas adapted from the male channel. For example, Queen Union 2, Fights Breaking the Sphere 2, and the mortal cultivation of immortality that Yang Yang is currently filming. The original novel of this drama is a classic IP of cultivating immortal novels, and the copyrights for movies, TV series, and animations have been sold successively. The earlier animation version was a huge success, which prompted the showrunners to immediately start a TV series version. The story tells the story of Han Lee, a poor boy from a small mountain village who accidentally entered a small sect and embarked on the path of cultivating immortality through his own efforts. In the original work, Han Lee looks very ordinary, just like a passerby, but who said the protagonist must be handsome? This drama is different from other dramas. The official announcement adopts the model of one dungeon and one map. First, it was officially announced that the male lead will be played by Yang Yang, which gave him enough of a leading male lead. Then it was officially announced that the heroine is Jin Chen. It is said that Jin Chen's filming was completed in less than two months. She is the heroine of the borderline. After the official announcement of the leading actors, the remaining actors will be officially announced one after another starting from September 25th, almost a week or two weeks apart. For example, the actors from Tainan Valley, Wong Maple Valley and other places have been officially announced. The actors at this stage include Liu Yan, Che Bei Opalo, Zhao Ziading, Zhang Ziajin, Zhao Qing, Wang Zixi, etc. Recently, the official posters of Jing Guiren and Jing Chen were announced, adding seven actors. After reading the lineup, I have to say with emotion, the lineup of this drama is really strong, the producer is really rich, and the production is big and generous. The Devil is Coming, overturning the immortal sect, causing evil in the imperial court, and upending the five elements. Wang Hexiang plays Yi Snake, one of the four blood warriors with strange skills. Chen Shen plays Qing Wen, one of the four blood warriors with extremely strong defensive power. Zhukle plays the role of the Ice Demon, who also belongs to the four blood warriors. Su Hekia plays the role of the old demon Yun Lu, a hermaphrodite. In the original work, he is an unusually handsome character with a cultivation level in the middle stage of Yuan Ying. He is indistinguishable between male and female in appearance. He likes tonic the most, and it can be used by both men and women. Later this character will be inextricably linked to Han Li. Although he is called a demon and is backed by the demon clan Hao Hu insect, he has not become a public enemy of the entire world of immortality. This is because he never kills innocent people indiscriminately, and at most he uses Yin to replenish Yang. Old demon Yan Lu has a clear distinction between love and hate, and his character of repaying kindness makes him a refreshing and refined person among the demonic monks. Judging from the poster, Su Heikyo's clothes stand out in this group, he looks like a noble prince, and his appearance with a little red on his forehead is also very coquettish. Luo Guangxi plays Qin Yan. It is said that the ancestor of the Qin family is Han Li's uncle, so Han Li respects Qin Yan and comes to protect Qin Yan on his master's orders. Yu Kang plays Tai Luo, one of the four blood warriors with powerful strength. Wu Yu plays the Yu Emperor. Wu Yu, a martial arts level athlete, has not seen him for a long time. It is really surprising to see him in the Legend of Mortal Cultivation this time. In the play, he plays the incarnation of the demonic cult, the Black Evil Cult. As soon as he appears, his aura makes him look like a big boss. Now he is more worried about whether Han Li can fight him. Also, did the martial arts director of this drama ask teacher Wu Yu? Please be sure to design a set of moves that are beautiful and free and easy to punch to the flesh. I don't know if you have read this novel. Do you have anything to say about the casting of the actors in the play? What do you think of Yang Yang playing the ordinary boy Han Li? Is Yun Lu played by Suhaikyo what you expected? Everyone is welcome to leave a message in the comment area.